four seconds. No, not out there, baby. Not out there. Eli, the uh, space ship is going to be over there. Liquid oxygen replenished to the external tank. It's and going to the now moon. Issue block string back. Yeah, buddy. Are you hot, Eli? Okay. We will. Humans. When it goes off, we're going to see it. Are you hot? Eli, are you hot? No, no. Never mind that he's sweating and smells god awful. <laughs> no, you won't see the space shuttle take off, man. No. You're going to see it over there in a minute. Over there. It's going to go boom. That's the sound of my Four minutes and counting. The final helium purge of the three main engines is underway in preparation for main engine start. Oh man. And a final test of the flight control surfaces is now being conducted. It's a pre-programmed pattern of movements designed to verify the readiness for launch of the flight control surfaces, the airlines, speed brakes, and rudder. G minus three minutes, 25 seconds and counting. Final aero surface checks are complete, and the series three minutes will be given to the pre-programmed series of maneuvers as a final test before launch. All right, sorry, I had to go and snag all the purposes. T minus three minutes and counting. Final pressurization of the external tank's liquid oxygen tank is underway. Mama's building the space shuttle for you. Oh, look. And we're completing the probe as the shuttle main engines. T minus two minutes, 45 seconds and counting. Can you imagine? I bet their hearts no, are racing. Filming. Mama's filming. Their hearts are racing out of their to watch chest. Over there. Look. Over there. The lights are getting bright. T minus two minutes, what? 30 seconds and counting. Eli. It's going to take off, buddy. Look, Eli. External fuel cell yeah, loading is terminated. Yeah. Keep and watching. the gaseous oxygen ventilator or beanie cap is slowly Mama being can't hold you right from now. the top of the external I'm going to turn on this camera so you can watch this again and again and again and a thousand times at home. Keep watching. Keep watching. Keep watching. Ready? Using their helmet visors, allowing their suits to be fully pressurized. Boy. Oh, buddy, it's going to take off. T minus one minute, 30 seconds, oh, we're about and right. counting. My heart's beating out of my chest. All systems are go. We're about 90 seconds from the launch of Spatial Discovery. T minus one minute, 15 seconds. The liquid hydrogen tank inside the external tank is reported to be at the proper flood pressure. No. T minus one minute. Yeah, baby. Yeah. They're sleeping in the water. Yeah, but joint heaters are being deactivated at this time. T minus 50 seconds. Transitioning to orbital internal power. <laughs> Discovery is now running off of its three onboard fuel cells. T minus 38 seconds and counting. Coming up on a go for auto sequence start at T minus 31 Watch seconds. Watch Eli. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Right. Discovery's right onboard computers and primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. You gotta look that way, sweetie. T minus 20 seconds. Just look that way. Look that way. Look over there, you're gonna miss the space. T minus 15 seconds. The sound suppression water oh system. Oh my, here we go, baby. Look. Oh goodness. There she goes. Look, look, baby. Look. Look. Can you see it? Wow. Oh my God. Can you see the space shuttle going? Can you see the space Look at it. Look, there she goes, baby. Wow. Look. 
baby boy. Look. There she is. There she is. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. There she goes. What do you Look. think? Mina, Mina. Look. Let me get Eli's face. There's the space shuttle. Eli. <gasps> what is that? It's a spaceship. Look up high, up high. Yeah, boy, look at that. Wow. Listen, you hear it? There she goes. Discovery 37 miles in altitude, 54 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. Three good main engines, three good auxiliary power units, three good fuel cells. And that's what it looks like now, where it was. Really can't say. There's a plume of smoke. And this is Three minutes into the flight. Everything going very well for Discovery. 47 miles in altitude, 85 miles downrange. So there it is. 85 miles. Wow. The orbital maneuvering system engines ignited, Discovery kicking on the afterburners for 1 minute 52 seconds, assisting the shuttle and its crew on their climb to orbit. That's where it was. Discovery flying on the singular power of its three liquid fuel main engines, draining a half a ton of fuel per second from the shuttle's large fuel tank. Discovery coming up on the point of negative return where the shuttle will be too far downrange, too high an altitude to return to the launch site in the event of an engine failure. Discovery, negative return. Discovery speeding straight as an arrow on its night flight toward a date with the International Space Station Sunday night. Four minutes, eight seconds into the flight, Discovery 61 miles in altitude, 163 miles downrange from the Cape. All systems in great shape. Wow, there it goes. Discovery's engines, fuel cells, and auxiliary power units performing as advertised. Discovery now 212 miles down range from the Kennedy Space Center. 212 miles away, that is amazing. The environmental systems officer reports the activation of the first flash of operator system providing cooling for Discovery's TVR. 